Hi everyone, welcome along to uh, Busy Bee Budgets, which is my channel where I talk about all things to do with budgeting and um, movement towards kind of financial independence. Um, and before I get into the video, I just want to say like, this isn't financial advice, please don't take my advice on any of this. This is just me sharing like what I'm doing and um, my journey, um, but hopefully you'll find it interesting and there might be something that uh, you kind of want to take up yourself. But yeah, absolutely please do not take this as financial advice in any way, shape or form. So today's video I just want to talk a little bit about sinking funds um, because as I start my cash budgeting journey this is one of the things that's most different for me. Um, so before I've always kind of put money away or had like savings but I didn't do it in this way and I didn't have like dedicated pots for different things and if I'm being honest I didn't really think on kind of an annual basis how much different things would cost. So each month I'd have a think about okay well I've got like a car bill coming up or we're having some work done in the house um, but it would just all be part of one big pot and it didn't really, I didn't really kind of plan for it on a regular basis and part of that was absolute privilege because we had enough cash flow and it was all kind of coming through um, but there must be a better way of doing it. I think sinking funds like might be the better way of doing it. Um, so I just thought I'd share like what I have decided to do um, but I will say obviously this is like my first month of doing this so I'm sure it will change in year um, and as different sinking funds come came up. Um, but I'm just going to talk you through like categories that I picked for my sinking funds, how I worked out how much money was going to go in each and then how I'm planning on keeping a track of it. And I'm using this um, uh, bullet journal which is kind of going to be my budgeting kind of uh, go-to document. Um, uh, it's from Amazon, it's obviously got a B on the front which I love. Um, but I have kind of created my own sinking funds tracker and I was a little bit inspired by Rainbow Budgets who had a good way of kind of working out what needed to be every month um, and also like what the total goals could be. So the majority of my sinking funds I put the same amount or I'm planning to put the same amount in every month um, but for instance for Christmas I'm only planning to stuff that for 10 months of the year um, because obviously it happens once a year um, so I'm going to give myself two months off from stuffing that but I think everything else I'll kind of stuff on a regular basis but we'll see how we go. So um, my biggest sinking fund is financial goals and at the moment I haven't really worked out what those goals are but that may be to pay off my mortgage early, that may be to invest more in the stock market, it might be to be an investment property but basically I want to have a portion of my money um, and it's quite a big portion but that is working for my financial future and as I say I'm kind of getting interested into the fire movement um, so I want that to kind of be the biggest sinking fund and that's kind of one of my priorities is to, to, to fund that so that we have options about you know our financial future so financial goals um, next one is home um, which is around mainly like home repairs or big purchases so um, I need to replace the carpet in my living room this year I need new sofas also having some decking done so this number at the moment is quite conservative and I think probably needs to increase but maybe one that I um, stuff with side hustles or or whatever additional income so um, that was quite conservative at the moment but may well change uh, car please by the way excuse my drawings I had um, like an idea in my head that these would look really cute but they just look a bit like a four-year-old's done them so apologies for that uh, car um, so this is for car maintenance and um, car servicing um, MOT insurance and car tax so I've kind of gone through and worked that one out I'll do the figures in a bit um, emergency fund obviously self-explanatory um, experiences which is again another quite big category for me and that is really things like travel really lovely meals out days out sort of the Instagrammable moments of our life if you like um, so that's quite a big one um, and then Christmas obviously again self-explanatory so what I did was worked out roughly how much I thought in a year we needed to cover these things. Um, so as I say, financial goals for me was priority. So um, I um, have identified twelve thousand um, pounds. Home fourteen hundred, but I think that needs to increase. But so we might come back and have a look at that. Um, car fourteen hundred twenty-five. It's about what I spent on it last year, but again, obviously my car's getting old, so it could be more. Um, emergency fund. I've already got some in the bank, um, but this will give me an additional um experiences um that should need four thousand not uh, not that so anyway um yeah so 400 a month roughly um but this is one that if our financial situation changed we could reduce um quite easily um so this is kind of one of my ones that might change again and then christmas um stuffing for 10 months of the year that's going to give us a thousand pounds which will cover all of the presents we buy food uh, socializing kind of everything that would just be a really like comfortable thing um, and again, I used to pay for all of these things just kind of as my income came and whatever savings I had, but these are going to kind of have dedicated pots and, and my envelopes. 
Um, so what I'm planning to do is have two figures in each column. So I've broken it down by months, obviously, um, and I'm stuffing from the second month of 2022 because I've only just started my cash budgeting journey. Um, so there's 11 months, so February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Um, but obviously for next year, um, that would be 12 months, so some of these figures might look a bit different, um, but that's kind of where we are at the moment. And each month I'm planning to put a planned figure, so what I hope to stuff, and then what I actually stuffed. So what I'll do is at the beginning of each month, I'll plug these into my budgeting process. Um, and then at the end of the month, I will plug in what I actually saved in my sinking funds. Um, so some of these have been stuffed for February. Um, so I've got financial goals, I've got emergency, home, car, experiences, Christmas, um, and that's it. Um, so yeah, I will kind of be stuffing these on a month, by monthly basis I think so what I've done at the moment is stuff initial an initial stuff as part of my monthly budget and I'm going to do a secondary stuff of sinking funds with my side hustle or any additional income I get and um, so that's why I haven't completed these figures for February because I haven't finished that second cash stuff but when I do do the second cash stuff that's when I'll kind of complete this um, so I hope that helps a little bit just to kind of break down I guess where I think um, I might need some sinking funds I think these seem to cover the big expenses at the moment um but financial goals i might want to break down i think at some point maybe to mortgage overpayment um to uh, investments um, and investment property um but i'm just going to focus on kind of building the pot first and then i can work out sub pots if we kind of need them and i've left a gap at the bottom just in case i do want to add any sinking funds in the year um or if any of these kind of significantly change so check out my um monthly budget video for kind of uh, what i've stuffed already and as i say i'll be doing a separate side hustle um sinking funds cash stuff later this month um but i'd love to hear how you do sinking funds i really love this this really makes sense to me um, but i'd love to know if i've kind of missed something or if you think there's something that i kind of need to factor in um, or if these aren't enough or kind of whatever or if there's enough fun stuff i mean i've got experiences in there um which is kind of like our major fun category but yeah, if there's anything else fun that you say for, that would be really good to know. Um, yeah, okay, perfect. Sorry, a bit of a ramble as always. Um, but thank you for joining me and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.